was happening full body, everything, all at once. Let's get it going. I'm on a nice little wide, little wide lat pull. Straight down. Right to the top of the chest. Squeeze it hard on the bottom. Big stretch up top. Let's get that full range of motion. Let's go to a 12, 15 count on this one. Nice underhand grip, really getting the back involved, pulling. Hmm. Hmm, I got four more. One, two, three. Big squeeze, last one, finish strong. Nice. Right to some of incline presses. Good weight, about 135. <clears throat> With this one, you want to get underneath the weight. Get those elbows back. Drive it up. Two. Three. Four. I'm always lowering that weight nice and slow. Right to the top. Right under the chin, actually. Controlling that weight all the way down. It's always important. I got four more. One, two, three. Last one. Four. Front of my back up. Let's grab a dumbbell. Right in the center. Get a nice squat. Nice uh, wide stance, actually shoulder width stance, and you're squatting. Again, we're hitting all the body parts, everything. Full body workout today. Nice and low. Just breathing normally. Four more, two, three, and four. And you just flip it up, just a normal shoulder press. I like to switch off here. First the traditional, standard, and then back to these. Couple that way, couple the old fashioned way. Back to turning the other way. Always varying everything. Whew. Trying to get the best of both worlds on this one. How about two more? Two. Nice. Let's go get a little serratus pull. Just widen everything up. Nice stretch of the rib cage. This is done with a straight arm. With your rear end sticking out a little bit, bring it right down to the waist. Try to avoid that. Hard to avoid. <sighs> ah, nice big stretch on top. Really squeezing right here. Try to get the most out of it that you possibly can. Nice. Whoa. How about four more? One, two, three. Last one coming up. Four. Let's utilize the whole thing and get the, the fly going. Actually, I need more weight. What they used to call the peck deck fly. I don't know what they call it these days. There we go. I think the pec deck fly comes from the old Nautilus machines that they used to have in gyms back in the 70s and the 80s. There's still some of them hanging around. Mm. Mm. I'm using some momentum. I got a heavy weight here. Two more to go.
Hey, what's happening? Just a quick note. Subscribe, please. Right now, before anything else, I appreciate it. Keeps me going, keeps me motivated, keeps me knowing you're out there, and increases my, I guess, my incentive to go on. It helps me. I really appreciate it. Subscribe right now. Thanks. It's the old alternate curl. Nice and easy. <clears throat> this time I'm turning the wrist on the downward. I usually don't do it that way, but it actually feels pretty good today. Turning, getting those forearms involved more so than before, using my 30 pound dumbbells here. Trying to stay strict with my form, trying the best I can with the form. Let's get right to the push down. Get the right weight. You don't want to go too crazy with the weight on this. You want to keep the weight moderate in order to keep your strict form, which is ultimately the most important. Straight down. Straight down. Elbows tucked. Straight down. Squeezing those tries on the bottom. Straight down. Ooh. <clears throat> that emphasis on the bottom is very important with that stretch on top, but that emphasis on the bottom with this one, very important. <clears throat> Elbows nice and tight. Three more. One, two, three. Little addition to the forearms. Overhand grip close, close overhand grip pulling down. Trying to emphasize the forearms on the pull. Not so much the back area, but the forearms. Just an additional, some additional work for the forearms. Nice exercise. I like this one. Let's go four more. One. Two, three, four. All right, let's do some dips. But I do a little bit different because it hurts my shoulders to constantly do this the old-fashioned way. I try to help myself with my foot just a little bit to get the pressure off of my shoulders a little bit, but still get the benefit from the exercise. <sighs> Going down and, of course, I'm leaning forward to try to emphasize the chest on this one. Just giving myself a little help with my foot. But really using the upper body for the most part. And let's go right to uh, the hamstring deadlift. One of my favorites, good for the back of the legs, the hamstrings, of course. Straight legs on this one. Sometimes I do it bent. This time I'll do it straight. Four more. Two. Three, four. These uh, leg extensions, they're fine. They're good to work in once in a while. I'll be honest with you, I never found them to be that, that effective, but it does work if you cram it in right in the middle of the routine. Squeeze it hard on top. This is a very lightweight. It actually gets some, uh, some blood flow to the knee area, which is sometimes problematic for a lot of people. For me especially, I feel it more so these days than I did in the past. 
the knees act up on me just a little bit, not too often. Not my main concern, usually. Carrying that weight down. How about four more? Two, three, four. And you know, I hadn't trained with weights in, a, I guess, about four or five, actually, I, no, no, about a week. So I just thought I'd do a quickie, go all, all the way around the gym with a full body workout for you. And again, I've been, I haven't been eating till about one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been fasting from about seven o'clock the night before till one o'clock in the afternoon. My eating window has been through one o'clock through about seven o'clock, that's six hours, when I'm spending 18 hours with no food in my stomach. Pretty good. Pretty, it's working pretty well for me. It's not for everybody, but it does work for me. Also, I feel that that time off is, is needed for the head and for the body, both. And again, it's not like I haven't been working out at all, but all cardio, all stretching, yoga, I work my abs. I didn't touch weights or pull-ups or, or, or push-ups, anything that has to do with resistance for about a week. Those videos you've been watching were from uh, a couple of weeks ago and further back. So I haven't been out here for quite some time with the weights, but here we are back in the swing of things. First day back, I thought I'd go around quickly with the basics. That's exactly what I did. Well, here's the thing. Subscribe to the channel and we'll get on with it. I need your subscription. I need your like. That's always good. Tell your friends, whoever you have to tell, Ralph Romeo Fitness right here on my channel. I really appreciate it so, so much. Thanks for being here.